Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to be playing Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku 3. Or as it's more widely known, Boo's Fury. Now this is an RPG, so it's going to take a long ass time to finish this game, and I hope you guys are ready for it. Let's go in. Previously on Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. Goku's son Gohan was able to tap into his deepest powers and finally destroy the monstrous cell. Finally, after years of turmoil caused by Dr. Jiro's androids, the Earth was brought back to normal, except for one thing. Goku was killed in a desperate attempt to defeat Cell, could not be revived by the powers of the Earth's dragon. And despite a clever plan to bring him back to life, Goku decided to be safer for him, for the Earth if he didn't return. And so friends and family were forced to say goodbye to the Saiyan they loved. Despite that loss, the world will finally be at peace. Or was it? Somewhere on planet Earth, something ancient and horrible was sleeping. A terror beyond imagination. And the forces of evil were preparing to awaken it from its primal imprisonment. Meanwhile, millions of light years above along the winding track snake way, Goku was adjusting well to life in the other world. I forgot how long snake, le snake way was. Listen, King Kai, can't you run any faster? We're not gonna make any good time. How many times can I say this? We can't make bad time because time never works runs out here but I can't wait to see this master of other world you told me about talk about the ultimate fighting challenge I have to tell you Goku you better not think lightly of him or you're gonna be in trouble maybe if I explain you know I'm King Kai and I watch over earth and your part of space but the universe is divided into four quadrants the north south east and west each having its own King Kai, but further above us is the Grand Kai. He rules over everything. And he's also a martial arts master with full of plans, full of fighters, which is why we have to get there right away. Say, so how do we get to the Grand Kai's planet anyway? We have to take a plane. It's called the High Plane, and it's over there at the end of Snake Way. Thanks, King Kai. I don't want to be late, so I'm going to go ahead and see you later. So, yeah, we're going to go run along this long ass Snake Way. And we're gonna reach King Yama. And I hope you played the other, watch at least watch the other game to know what is going on here. But basically, Goku died, and that's why he's in the other world. And we're gonna go talk to King Yama, who's this big ass dude who's gonna say nothing of importance. So you know, screw him. And we're gonna go to the other world to fight in another tournament because that's basically what Dragon Ball Z is. I always thought it was hella funny when this big ass dude has to be the secretary who's gonna let all the people into heaven or hell it's just hilarious to me so yeah King Gemma is angry because King Kai is dead because Goku blew up his planet with Cell or something but all of this is really filler just, all this is just really filler just you know to make waste time because it's an RPG so it has to be long as shit Basically, all they're asking them is, hey, where's the higher plane? And they're just going to be like, yeah, I'll hear it through this door. And this dude's going to be all surprised that you have a body, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. So I'm not reading all of this because it's going to take forever. I'll read what's important, really, but I do kind of want to skim over some things. Like all those weird things down there, those are souls we're supposed to be. And this is the crappy plane that's going to take us to other world. Not that good ass looking plane. This piece of shit. <laughs> Even Goku's upset. He's just like, yo, what the fuck? Why'd I get this cr crappy piece of shit? But it doesn't matter. We're gonna fly to other world. Just big ass palace or whatever. This is it, Goku. The Grand Kai's planet. 
Really? It doesn't look like much. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Oh, sorry, I guess it is more impressive than your planet. Especially since your planet got blown up. <laughs> Goku, don't remind me. It's all your fault. So where's Grand Guy? I want to meet him. To tell you the truth, Goku, I've never seen him fight in all these years. But it's supposed to be all spectacular and shit. Wow, so when do we meet him? You'll meet him when he decides to come the fuck outside. So why don't you go talk so why don't you go talk to some other dudes? Maybe you'll learn something. After that he just explains what this circle thingy is. Which means you could save or switch characters, whatever. And then Kinkai's gonna go massage his car or whatever. And after that we're gonna go meet some fighters. Greetings, King Kai, it's good to see you. Hello, Olibu, this is Goku, he's new here. Hey, Olibu. Olibu is from Earth, just like you, Goku. Most of your legends are based on him. He's working on his 10,000 years of training so he could meet King Kai or Grand Kai himself. 10,000 years, does he, anyone ever trained that long? The hell? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you have to show that you're perfectly qualified to train with Grand Kai. I guess. You should talk to the fighters. Yeah, so we're gonna go talk to the fighters now. Mostly Olibu. All these other dudes just tell you how to play a game, which I already do know how to do, so fuck them. Yeah, so you basically punch with A, do energy attacks with B. L is for switching your energy attacks and R is to block. That's really it. And now Libu's just like, hey, we're gonna go train or some shit. You ready to go? And Goku's like, yeah, dope, let's do it. So yeah, if you've seen the other series, you should know that the combat is insanely simplistic. Honestly, all you really need is A to just hit dudes in the face and you'll win, basically. It's not that hard. But yeah, each character gets their own energy attack. Like Goku has the Kamehameha and the instant transmission. All the other characters have their own shit. Now when you defeat enemies, you might notice some shit flying out of them. And uh, that's usually either money or items. See those gray things on the floor? That's money. Yeah, you use money to buy like items or uh, clothing or shit like that. But that's about it really for money. It's really not useful in this game barely at all. The items that they drop, those are more useful. See right there, he drops some food. Food recovers health. Uh, something you drink recovers your energy and clothing just powers you down, up or down. That's it. And we just beat the shit out of these dudes. So we're gonna go meet up Olibu, who's already there because he knows how to teleport or some shit. Most impressive. Olibu, how did you get here? I took a shortcut. Now let's fight. Olibu's like really freaking easy because you're way the fuck over power because you know you're Goku and he's just a human so fuck him. Hey, away, you win, I give up. Say, I have an idea, follow me. Yeah, you have to be a certain level to enter that door. See, it says 65, that means you have to be level 65 to enter that door. And there's certain colors on it, see how it's orange, that means only Goku can enter it. If it's green, then Gohan, blue, it's Vegeta, you know, stuff like that. This is the cave of the entrance. They said there's an ancient artifact hidden inside, but no one has been able to get it. Yeah, um, the secret artifact is a shirt. <laughs> That's a secret artifact, it's a fucking shirt. <laughs> yeah, to open this door, you have to use the Kamehameha. I don't know why he couldn't just fucking just open it, but, you know, I guess you have to use a fucking energy wave to do it. And here you have to, you know, use instant transmission. Because you can't get through this big ass wall of metal, I guess. Which is the strongest metal on all of the planets and shit. And Goku's just gonna instant transmission in there and grab that shirt and be on his way. Bam, you got the shirt. Congratulations, it's a piece of shit. Amazing. I once met a yard rat who could do that same technique. The full of surprises and I'll see you later on because we're gonna fight bye okay i uh, to be honest i really don't want to read this whole friggin page of dialogue they're gonna say 
So I'm just going to summarize it because they don't say a lot. Basically, the North and West cast are just like, Goku's better or Pygon's better and they'll get into a fight and then Grand Kai's going to be like, yo, shut the fuck up. How about we just make a tournament to see who's the strongest and everybody's going to be like, dope. And he's just, he just going to make a tournament. That's really it. Just like a dick measuring contest. That's, that's it. That's uh, the whole dialogue that's here presently. And just, I don't want to read all this. It's just too much. Doing all of these voices is just horrible. I do like Grand Kai though. He's just like the chillest dude ever. Just like a rocker dude who just became the king of everything. And it's hilarious to me. I do like this arc in the anime, but it is just filler. It's just filler. That's it. And, you know, I do like it. It has some awesome fights, but it serves, like, no purpose. Nothing changes by the end. Except maybe Pycon and Goku become friends, but that's it. I don't mean to rag on this game so much because I do love it. Even though it is, like, 15 years old at this point. But, you know, I used to play it way back then, and, you know, I liked it. I like it now. It's just that there's a lot of filler in dialogue and it's just boring as shit to read. Especially if you're doing voices like I am. And there's the Grand Kai. With this dope ass mustache and that big ass two freaking cassette player on his shoulder. Looking like the boss from the 80s. It's like an old dude saw the 80s and just like, I got this. This shit's mine now. Fuck y'all. It for now and I'll see you guys later. Peace.